We are grateful to all who join in this guided dance for elemental transformation of these times. We allow the elements of air, fire, water, and earth to dance us. We feel these energies move through our body. It is important to balance our awareness of inner and outer movement in order to be safe within our boundaries. We become one in this ritual by focusing on our hands holding the same mudra poses together as we dance our own way. Air as smoke swirls and sways through our body as we follow the apex of our palms together holding our thumbs inside this fertile seed image. We focus on the inner potential and softly blow our breath there to kindle this life force into the fire of action from our heart. We have a full minute to dance with the energies of air as we feel them now. initiating us to allow our actions to come from our heart and dance through our body. Our hands open into the mudra of fire by holding the thumb to ring finger and feeling the leaping and swirling of flames, envisioning the lava flowing towards the ocean of the collective unconscious. We have a full minute to experience the fire of our life force moving within us. the water and honor her as the predominant element in our body. Feel the stillness of the surface with our palms open and reach for the depths as she does. Dance the whirlpools and eddies of our experiences. We now have a full minute to be with the water in this way and dance with her.
sound of the gong and tension in the music announces the opposites of fire and water as hot lava reaches the edge of the ocean. Our first inclination is to resist, hit the wall, run away, hide, or fight with the rising steam. We may also learn to recognize and hold the tension of opposites with the strength of our fully developed ego vessel. When we are able to do this, there is a true transformation into a newly created harmony. We now have a full minute to feel and dance the reconciliation of these opposites. The earth shows us harmony and balance through her cycles and seasons. Lava and water become stones of obsidian and zeolite resting peacefully on the earth. We heal by holding ourselves and gently rocking the preverbal wounds we came in with. Wounds of ancestral patterns such as genocide as well as current family conflict and collective oppression. We reach for archetypal human patterns deep within the earth to anchor our own roots and become who we really are deep inside ourselves, resting at last like the stones who are our eldest ancestors. They have so much to teach us as they have been here on earth from the beginning. We return to the earth in the pose of the child and we have a full minute to heal and feel